short, Loredo might actually be one of the best roleplay games currently out there. And let me show you why. So this game seriously focuses on realism, and you were gonna notice it too at this video. You look new, welcome to Fort Laredo. Let me show you around, all right. So starting off, when you spawn in, you're met with a phone. Now this phone is not your ordinary phone. It's kind of like a GTA phone. So there's a bunch of apps here you can check out. Now down here you see your little car icon, and if you own a car, the car will show up here in which you can actually spawn it through. But that's not all of it. You can also spawn your own boats if you own any, and you can even accept orders if you it's for example Starblocks, McDonald's, etc. Now the phone is nothing if you compare it to the computer. In this game, a computer can do basically anything for you. So walk up to one of the computers in game and press E. It will open a computer for you and you will be met with this. So first of all, there are different websites in here you can visit, but you can also bookmark the websites if you didn't know. So you can bookmark them up here in the corner. So for example, in the computer, you can actually shop cars. So in here you see this little website in which you can shop and sell cars so if we go into the shop section here's all the cars right now so as you can see something happened so i ended up having the kenyan currency down here now guys don't worry i don't have 25 trillion there was just a little bug with somebody that was gonna drop a little money so we're gonna just buy one of these vehicles and i think we're gonna buy something that looks interesting enough for us now there's a big selection here so let's get the 2020 dodge challenger srt hellcat and honestly i think that goes well in the blue color so we're gonna confirm the purchase we're gonna just return our table and see what can spawn at them. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's enter this vehicle. Now we can see here that this game actually has manual cars as well. So first of all, by pressing B, you put on your seatbelt. Really cool. And you gotta start your vehicle by pressing this engine thing. Now to go out of neutral, you either press uh, E or Q. If you press Q once, you will end up in the backing mode. And if you press E once or twice, you will end up in the drive mode. So really cool stuff. Now, yes, these are blocky cars. And you know, I'm not the biggest fan of blocky cars. But in this game, the blocky cars kind of fit, not gonna lie. So the cars actually do break if you hit something too fast. If we unbuckle our seatbelt and go outside, you can actually hear that the thing keeps on honking and stuff. You see there's a bunch of smoke coming out. Sometimes when you hit something, the car actually catches on fire and you die. So be careful with that. Now to earn money in this game, you actually have to start working. Over here, you can actually clock in for work at a McDonald's. And you can begin working. RWS. McDonald's.com. Alrighty. And then you click, and then you click enter. Yep, top. enter. Alright, yeah. Apply now. And now you click, you click log oh, in. Oh, log in, log in. Alright. Clock you click, in. Clock in. There you go. Ooh. And then you exit the screen, and then you can begin working. Oh, alright. So, a way to make money legitimately is this right here. In the future, we're going to have uh, delivery and blue collar working jobs that can be available for anyone to use. Um, yeah. And you can join a group. But for now, uh, what we plan on doing is having a possibility for franchising. So if you, uh, if you have enough money in game and you want to go ahead and pay a fee, you can pay a fee and the develop and start building your your little thing. Yeah. All you, need, all you need to do is pay a builder to do the outlining of your work, give it to a Fort Ludo developer, and we'll incorporate your franchise if you, pay, if you have a license. So if you are wow. a business owner in Fort Laredo and you want to open a McDonald's franchise, you can open another McDonald's franchise. This is really uh, cool though. Through the computers, you can actually enter different websites. So let's say you want to join Starblocks. Then you basically type in rws.starblocks.com. You press the enter button right here. Then you can see that you either apply now or log in. But what you want to do is log in and then press clock in. Now you're actually a Starbucks employee. So now you basically head into this place and you can start doing your everyday work now how do you do the work so for example we can head up to this dude and take his order he wants an espresso blend for two dollars alrighty so we got 172 seconds to put that together so what you do is you grab an empty Starbucks cup you hold the cup you put it under here the espresso machine it will start pouring up and sorry about the graphics by the way they're actually better at lower quality because of the game's graphics system it will be improved shortly but yeah now of course there can come in other orders such as chocolate chip cookies and whatever stuff in here you can even put on a speaker if you want to you can paste in an id and play it there's a lot of cool stuff here and basically while you work here you will start earning money which is really cool i'm gonna go ahead and show you one of our features which is a underglow i'm Ooh. gonna show you my car that i have that's a japanese racing car oh i'm stuck <laughs> wait wait what there we go uh let me go ahead and show you 
All right, all right. Oh, then what? This is like GTA customization right here. Yeah, so go and get in the passenger seat. All righty. Most of the cars are like really cheap. You don't need to uh, spend that much time, time like grinding for it, right? But yeah, these yeah. cars in particular, these like Hellcats, these racing, these racing models, these sports cars are extremely expensive because they go super fast in a short period of time. Oh yeah. Oh. They're also, <laughs> they're also difficult. They're also difficult to maintain because they have a lot. They have a lot of horsepower to them. So oh, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and show you the crash detection system. I'm gonna crash into this right here. Oh, oh my gosh, dude! Come here! Uh, <laughs> Come no, here. Yeah! No, uh, <laughs> I no, didn't! No, I didn't! No, don't, do don't, back, don't back over me! No, I'm coming no, back no, for you! No, I'm no, coming no, back no, for you! No, no, oh! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I broke the car! Yep, I'm out of here. I'm a criminal now. RWS.FLPD.com. Now, when you press enter, you will see this Fort Laredo Police Department. Yeah, this is really cool that you actually end up here. But how do you so, bring out your guns, by the way? I have an AR, but... Oh, you have to actually pull out the AR and press E on it to select it. Oh, oh, dang. Yeah. Oops, yeah, my, my bad, guy, my bad. You're good. You're good. This is just for the police department. We have a sheriff's office as well. Uh -huh, uh, the guy uh -huh. who actually runs a sheriff is actually a Marine as well, so... Ooh, all right. So we have uh, our dark blue uniforms, the class C, B, A, and our bike uniform, our car wash uniform. What? Call it. <laughs> car yeah, wash uniform? All right, yeah, no, I no, want to no. see that. I want to see the car wash uniform. <laughs> <laughs> this is it right here because it, you know, oh, shorts and shirts. oh my we yeah also bike uniform as well oh wait what uh, you do polo design we can also say rank insignias i'm gonna go ahead and respawn you currently there's no way to uh remove vest but we're gonna actually add a feature oh uh, yeah we also have a, a patrol vest as well we have two different bar uh, belt variants depending on like what your style is and Ooh. i don't know if you notice we can actually um if you don't have a radio mic on your on your on your chest like a, like a radio accessory you yeah. actually pull your radio off your belt like this Wow, wait, what? You actually, you actually put it in your hand, too. Wait, is this where you go to, like, put it on? Equip belt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, which button is that? It should be your semicolon. You can actually change it by clicking the settings button on the top radio to your to whatever you want. You, whatever you want. There's a Ooh, little gear okay, symbol. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, really cool stuff, man. But that's not even it as well. If you come over here and you put on a radio microphone on your uniform, it actually will go ahead and change its um, position. So over here, if you grab a mid microphone or an over the shoulder microphone, and you oh, yeah? press the same radio button, it would actually um, it would actually change the animation. Oh, to your yeah. Chest. That's really cool. Cannot, now, go ahead and pull off your taser and look at your vest. And we'll actually go ahead and move it off your vest when you pull out your taser. Uh, currently, we have no hat remover, but we're going to add that in a later update. We have a forensic system planned in the future. We are planning on releasing that, like making it start to well pause before we release it. Where like, yeah. each firearm will, like, will create a serial number in the game. And once it's gone, it's deleted, you know. And if you like, if you kill someone and there's like law enforcement, can, like a, a te detectives only can like view the forensic evidence. And they can like identify uh that stuff oh you also picked the last name anderson too huh <laughs> <laughs> of course, dude. So basically, in the police department, you spawn in like this. You can walk around and find all these different things, such as different belts. There's even bike clothing, bike gear. You can see here when I put this on, this looks a little bit funny. I gotta turn down the graphics again. You can see we got the bike clothing on right now. There's class C, class B, class A, all these different things. There's even canine clothing, canine gear. And of course, if you wanna put on some uh, body armor, you can do that. You can shoot switch belt you want maybe belt 2 and it puts that on to you now that's not completely it there is also a section over here for SWAT so for example if you want to put on SWAT uniforms you can do that SWAT carrier SWAT helmet see here <laughs> looks a little bit funny some really cool stuff overall now this game as I mentioned is a highly realistic roleplay game so basically anything in here is actually in the use so all these different rooms you see are actually being used by people and that's really cool to me so for example here we got the department briefing so if we head inside here's actually where they hold briefings believe it or not they usually fill one of these halls up to the top and there's somebody up here speaking after a shooting or something has happened within the community now if that wasn't enough for you all you actually gain stamina within the game from things you do so if you enter the gym you can actually start doing squats and stuff you gotta start off slow though because else your character won't be able to make it so as you can see this is working for me because there's almost no weight on it but if i put this down you will actually see that you can add weight by pressing e and if I do that and now begin doing squats, it will say you're weak. You're weak.
weak. You hear that? Your character cannot handle it just yet. Now, there's even a leaderboard for this. So, for example, the squats, if you press E and you refresh the squat the leaderboard. So, in the server, I'm alone, of course, right now. But this is my record of taking squats and 50 LBS. So, one really cool thing I gotta show with this game is the property and evidence area. So, in here, if you, for example, grab your, let's say, clipboard, you walk up to these lockers, it will actually remove your clipboard because the clipboard is now placed in the evidence zone. So now they actually get a log in their Discord server in which it says what this person put into the evidence place. Now they're actually working on making the forensics within the game a lot more realistic. And that's great because that truly gives an immersion within the game, which makes it really cool and fun to play. And yeah, you store the evidence within these containers. <laughs> so out here, we've got the vehicle pool in which you actually spawn police cars and stuff. So if we head out here, you're going to see that this is the area. I'm going to turn the graphics up a little bit again. So a really beautiful place, not going to lie. So what you want to do is basically head into your phone again. Now you will actually see this little police logo. You press on it and now you can actually choose a car that you want. Now there's a lot of different cars you can choose from, but I'm going to go with something that I thought sounded cool, which is the Marine Ram 1500. I'm spawning this in. We're going to see what this is all about. Ooh, Marine unit. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. So if we just unlock this vehicle real quick and enter it, you're going to be able to see that this is actually really realistic. So the ELS is actually very custom made and it looks so good. Look at the ELS. It's amazing. Now in the police car, if you press K, you will be met with this, which is basically the MTD the police officers use. So here you can see, for example, if there's a car call in which the location is and uh, the description of the call and stuff you can go to records in the start of the game you actually have to decide a name for your character so for example if there's another dude in the server you know his name you type in his first name and last name and you actually end up seeing everything about him you can also type in license plates numbers and stuff and it will work fine as well all right so the police got some simple tools the pepper spray the search tool and this is actually really cool because you can grab and give items to at the search tool there's a flashlight a badge of course a baton in which you press e and it extends you can punch people a taser which is really hard to use a glock and you see you actually have your hand on the holster so let me just turn down the graphics again so you can see this i'm holding my hand on the holster and if i press e the glock actually pulls out now there's two modes you can go into first person mode by scrolling in pretty nice you even have a flashlight if you didn't know that and the third person mode obviously and the guns are really amazing in this game i really like them they're really fun to use now you also have an ar-15 which you do the same thing you press e and it pulls out and this is really amazing stuff and you can also go into first person and look through the beautiful red dot site now that's basically just the simple police tools then there is also right shields etc you can have in case you want to do a right role play whatever <laughs> can you see this yeah i can what the heck yeah, marine physics on Roblox are very, are very, very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go and respond. I, I want you to go ahead and uh, walk up to Gary. What the heck? Just walk up to him. I, I thought it was a human, dude. <laughs> just go ahead and walk up. Just go ahead and walk up. Just, you just, just, just you walk want up. me to die? Oh yeah, no, he's he's harmless. He's harmless. Trust me, bro. He's harmless. Oh okay. Yeah, he's harmless. Can he's I harmless. sit on me? <laughs> I'm oh, yeah, gonna sit go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, he's harmless. <laughs> are you I sure? I don't know. You're... Yeah, 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 I'm sure. He's, he's not attacking you, is he? Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 he's not. <laughs> you sound a little suspicious there, man. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why he's not attacking, but... He likes me, dude. <laughs> no, you killed it. There's actually an actual working fire department that in this game. So oh, dang. Here we have firefighters fighting a fire. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Looks, looks really nice. Yep. Really nice pictures, not gonna lie. Yeah, and these are all in-game pictures from the summer. Go ahead and show you, we have Engine 1 Fire Department. For the Ooh. fire. No, note the uh, little meter right here. You know, we got the red, yellow, and blue. Yeah, these, yeah. Yeah, and that's actually the water meter in that fire in that fire engine. Oh, it is? Increase it. Yep, we can actually increase it. I'll show you how it works here in a second. Oops, oops sorry, sorry, I was gonna open this one. <laughs> You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. No, you're, you're really stuck here now. All right, there we go. We're gonna open this one up. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works. Basically, what you go, you go ahead and do, like in real life, you actually have to open the hydrant first with the wrench. So, Whoa. Uh, yeah, you put that on, put the wrench on. Yeah. And then you go ahead and you get a supply line. So first, you're gonna want to go ahead and put put on the supply line. Uh, yeah. And you're gonna want to go ahead and put that right there. That's the wrong one. Hold on. I need, I need, the, <laughs> I, need I need the discharge. Hold on. I need the discharge. 
All right. Yeah, this is some advanced stuff right here. We're gonna have need a whole training tutorial. I I am not a firefighter, so I have no clue how this really works that well. I'm the, probably the worst person to explain because I am, <laughs> I, am, I am I am I am I am law enforcement. I am a lawyer. I am law enforcement and a lawyer. I do not I do not do this firefighting stuff. Yeah, so, I see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now the water should be going up a little bit, slowly by slowly. It should be going up because it's a massive tank. Dang, wait. Okay, there you, go, there you go. Now it's green. Now the tank is entirely full. So what you do is you would actually come over to the back and you would grab a attack line. Or a oh a two by th uh, by uh, by one and a half or a uh one and by three fourths half. Wait, I don't see that. Oh, maybe it's because it's not my fire truck. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah there yeah, you're uh, up there. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. We're gonna see what we need. Attack line. There we go. Dang, how many yeah, things yeah. do I have in my inventory? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now you go ahead and start doing it. Oh. So yeah, just like that. That's how it works in this game. That's super uh, cool. No. Oh yeah, there, there. Gender male. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Oh, so oh. oh. yep, I flew oh. away somewhere. Oh no! Uh, Dang, I didn't know it was yeah. this realistic, man. Now these people actually elect a governor and stuff to their game, and there's some really cool stuff you can go to and become if you just take time to become them. You can even become the mafia boss of the city. I'm not even kidding. There's a lot of cool stuff you can become within the community. One more way to make money in this game is, of course, illegally. So if you head to, for example, Ace Hardware, I can actually show you a few things in which you can actually make a little illegal money. So first of all what you want to do is you want to grab a few of these window curtains these are to block your house windows off after you have bought a home etc and these homes they're a bit different so in this game i actually have to pay off mortgage and stuff for your houses which is insanely realistic so for example you can either get window plywood or window curtains they both work fine and then you can grab a few of these garden beds and plant pots and you probably get what i'm trying to go with this now there's basically something you grow at your house which you can set later on but if the police catches you lacking then you are done for it they can actually take all your money from your bank etc if they catch you doing anything illegally like selling these kind of things now there's more stuff you can buy such as brooms knives even grills if you want to cook food now this game is seriously worth checking out it's such an amazing game and you don't want to miss this one okay so over here we have these luxury upper class townhouses like i told you <laughs> banks and credit unions are going to be a very important thing these are going to go for an even one million dollars but with a mortgage and a down payment you can get it uh relatively quickly wow a million dollars that's crazy dude all right let me go inside so currently it's not this is only for display purposes so if, if you do show it off in your video make sure you say that so people all right yeah, yeah okay <laughs> don't think we're, like, we're using free models or whatever that's yeah, yeah. Case, we spent 90 dollars on these uh condos here we particularly put this out towards the facing the beach you know because it's a nice little view oh yeah this is beautiful I oh I oh wait 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 <laughs> what because also when we first released the uh that update where you get where you become ragdolled uh, yeah. It was very fun because people would uh, would just execute people in the, in the field. They'd just like walk up to it with a handgun and say any last words before shooting you in the head. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, you must admit. Okay, I'm going to say this. Any last words, sir? Any last words. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Come over here. It actually. actually took the ground. Oh, wait. What if I grab a baton? Hey, hey calm down. Calm down, boy. Hey, come here. So the cool thing about the baton is that uh, it, you can't hurt law enforcement. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're oh. weak. <laughs> You're weak? Now, I don't know about you, man, but can you go ahead and lift this weight right here, man? 205. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, dude. I got a shotgun now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. I'll, I'll persevere. Oh, no, I'm dead. Yeah, you were definitely dead. I did shoot you a few times, dude. No. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you better clean that out before I shoot you again.